morning friends how are you today i'm going to show you uh, how you can install a wordpress site in amazon linux 2 so recently i have launched a new site awsfaithatik.com and i'm going to set up a wordpress over there so let's do that first i'm going to go to ec2 i selected the region is singapore because it's near to me. Okay, so launch instance. Amazon Linux 2, 64 bit. Due to micro. I am roll. Everything as default. Here, I'll just copy this script. Uh, to set up update yum and uh, set up mod ssl http php etc I copy and paste here then i go to add storage attacks security groups i just create a new security group AWS with HTTP HTTPS okay. then everything is fine let's launch it AWS with thank you okay the instance is being launched the instances while it's being ready let me just create a putty file putty gem. so uh, I will just note SPM file <coughs> okay and then I will just save the private key here same name AWS with thick.ppk okay this is a putty file putty compatible ppk file I have generated and then then I am going to connect to putty ec2 user at the rate of this IP address AWS with thick And I am going to go to this PPK file location. Save, open. Okay, great. So now I have connected to that instance. Let it pull. So do yum update. Let's see if there is anything. All the sites been updated. Let's see the status of HTTP. So do system CTL. Status. Oh. Okay, HTTP. Then I have to start. Uh, enable HTTP. Okay. So then I'm going to um, go to this okay. I'm going to enable EPL. Okay, EPL has been enabled. 
then I'm going to uh, install Python search port 2. This is installing server which will be used to create the SSL certificate. Okay, that's done. Now I'm going to go to for and then I will uh, go to HTML. I'm going to download the WordPress. Let's have downloaded. Let's unzip it. Okay, then uh, my WordPress folder is uh, here. I just need to move it to one step up. Here it is, <coughs> all my WordPress sites are there. Now I'm going to create a virtual host. So just let me pause the video for a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, create a virtual host here in AWS with Atik. And then this is the document root. Same here as well. Okay, so I can copy this. So I etc http conf dot vhost.conf. Okay, uh, here I am just going to paste it. Okay. Now I'm going to change the uh, A record and point to this server. So let me pause this just a moment. Okay. So my domain pointing is completed. As you can see, AWS with Atik now points to this WordPress setup page. I just need to create an RDS database server. So I'm going to use a MySQL server for this WordPress site. MySQL dev test. Sorry, I will use free tier. I'll probably use MySQL 5.7.30. Because this is what I know still about AWS with a thick. I'm going to generate a password and then I'm going to change that. So don't worry. Okay, generate passwords. Copy. Okay, do not try to use this password because I will just change it. I will delete this RDS tutorial has finished okay enable auto scaling um, let's make it 100 
okay additional connectivity publicly accessible yes because I'm going to connect to that instance additional confirmation okay everything I keep as a default and then um, database Okay, it might take around 10 minutes, so I pause here. Okay, while my server is, uh, database server is ready, I just need to set up the uh, SSL. Let's try to run this. Super short port of two. Yep. It is trying to create a new certificate file for me. <coughs> That's it. My certificate is setup is done. And if I go to uh, re refresh this page, I might get an SSL. I cannot show that because it's below my screen but it's already set up is done okay my database is up now and while I was pausing I just added the web server security group in this default security group. let me just show you here very quickly what I did is I just allowed uh, mysql for web security group AWS this is actually the web server Okay, now here uh, let's go. Confirm the setup database name. Oh. Okay, I copy the endpoint, and this is my endpoint. Is an password database that's there. Let's submit. Okay, we cannot edit this file, but I can just do that manually. Okay. I just copy here, paste it. Then continue the installation. Yes, with okay, that's fine. Username, blah blah blah. Password, something. WordPress. Login. Okay, that's it, guys. I hope you, this will help you to set up WordPress in your Amazon Linux too. It has already SSL installed, as you can see. Let's encrypt. 14 September to 13 December and I have some themes appearances what I'm just going to do is to uh, install a theme and start blogging this thank you for watching my video and I hope I will help you to get more accurate with AWS if you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and I will get inspired to create more videos like this Thank you and have a nice day.